Hello, Terry Caliendo here again with Dedicated Managers. Just wanted to show the latest thing that I just added. Real simple, um, when a client is to be deleted, um, I wanted to make sure that the person really wants to delete it. You don't want somebody to accidentally click the delete button. Obviously, this would be in a different spot in the final form, but if, you, if they accidentally hit delete, you don't want it to go away for sure. You want a confirm delete bo box to pop up and make sure. So if they hit cancel, obviously nothing happens if they hit delete. We then confirm the delete and go back to the dashboard. So let me show you that real quick. And uh, in the code, it's really simple. Um, all I had to do was just add, uh, and this is why you use um, this is why you use View Viewify. Um, is it makes adding these dialogues super simple. It's like using um, you know Bootstrap. Bootstrap would also make dialogues like this very simple. Um, so you don't have to do all the code to figure out how to get this window to pop up, how to make the background go dark, um, you know, how to do the layout and all that stuff. It's all done for you, uh, and it makes it all super easy. So you just go and grab the code. I just went to and I found um, I found this modal that I liked that popped up squared and had the agree disagree button, uh, and then I just you know customized it a little bit. Um, so you can just go to Beautify, you can just grab the code like this, um, copy it, the script, there's really nothing there other than the, the visibility of the dialogue, which I'll talk about in a second. So you just copy that, you paste it into your code. Uh, I pasted it at the bottom of my page. So here's my, you know, here's my layout, main layout for my form. Um, this is my first name, middle name, last name for my form that I've been showing. Um, might as well show it again. Uh, where is it? It is this form here. Um, and then down here, I just add the the layout. I actually deleted the template container. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. It has a template around it. You don't really need that. I dropped that. And then I just put the rest in. I changed the V model. So V model controls the visibility usually on many things. Um, I changed it to a really long variable name because uh, I guess I apparently like to be very clear. Um, and I put that as a um, just a, a, a data uh, property. Down here, you set it to false initially because you don't want it to show. So um, Technically, I should probably put a V if here. If I had anything below this, you would see a space. Um, I can show that in a second. Anyway, I copied it in, and then instead of where before, where on my click I was calling the the um, F delete function to go and dispatch the delete. Now instead, I set my my modal confirmation to true so that it pops up and then in here I have so this is the modal that pops up a modal is is this thing this is the thing that popped up that's the that's the code right here and it has two buttons one is flat the other is is error red so I guess they're both flat, but uh, you know, here's the error red, so that it's it's matches. Uh, I also gave the title, the card title, a a class of error and headline. Error made it red. Headline makes the makes it bold, like that. Um, and then I also had, or no, headline makes it it big, but um, I still had to add bolding and coloring. Um, I tried some other stuff and I just got tired of it and so just I hard coded the style. Um, so when those buttons are clicked, either if cancel is clicked, all I do is simply set the vis visibility of the modal back to false and it disappears. If the person wants to confirm the delete, now I call that F delete. So really I just move that F delete from this button up here in the in the um, the delete at the bottom of the form, I just moved it down to the delete, the confirm delete, and then have this button cause this pop up, this modal to pop up, and that way it confirms. And if they they 
choose to, to confirm their delete, then the, the delete function is run. So um, that's it, real simple. Uh, it should have only taken me, you know, a half hour to do that. I tried doing a sidebar um, where I tried making this component a global component so that I could call it from anywhere. Um, and I ended up realizing that that was really an, an old school thought. I tried putting it in, um, uh, in the app here, and then I tried making the visibility something that was in the store global so that I could call it from anywhere and have it turn on from anywhere. Um, but that ended up getting pretty cumbersome um, in some of the stuff I was trying to do. So I, I just realized that I was getting too old school. And really, I should take this right here, put it in its own component, and then um, you know add it to each um, each you add it to this component a as a subcomponent, which I'll probably do later and do a video on it. So really, uh, the main thing from this was just to see how to get that modal to pop up and how easy it is. You just add a little code. Um, you know, you show it with a click, and then um, you, you do what you need to do with the with the other buttons, and that's it. So, another long explanation for a simple thing, but hopefully uh, you're starting to see all the amazing stuff that can be done super easily, and, and doesn't require a lot of coding uh, on your own part. Um, and that's what the the point of using all these modules is. So again, Terry Caliendo for Dedicated Managers. Uh, thanks for watching. Be back with another video, and um, it's late for me, so I'm going to say good night. Have a good night.